So Miss Sadie here is a uh, bulldog, an English or British bulldog. Sadie, sit. Good girl. Sadie uh, came in with quite a few health uh, issues that we had to work through, and I thought we'd take uh, advantage of her cleaning routine that we could show everybody how you can properly clean a bulldog and uh, not have as many health issues. So when Sandy first came in, she had uh, quite a cracked and dry nose as you could see in the photos. And so what we've done is we've been using uh, coconut oil and Vaseline. Um, at first we were using the petroleum jelly, but then soon after, we found the coconut oil. And uh, the coconut oil, say, really enjoys the smell of. She just thinks it's, it's fantastic. Here, Sadie, do you want more treats? Yeah, you really enjoy that, don't you? Yes. Come. But it works like a magic charm. Come on. Come on over here. Come on over here. That's a good girl, Sadie. Sadie. Yeah. You stay there. So, what we have first is our Huggies. And Sadie hates her Huggies. These Huggies you can get at the dollar store and they're the 99% pure water, no perfume Huggies um, called the Pure. And so what we'll do is we will take a baby wipe and we'll start to just wipe her face down. As much as she loves it, we have to do it. So we wipe down her face real good with the first wet wipe. And then we go into her eye crevices. We get those eye crevices nice and worked out. Good girl. Yeah. And that gets all the tear stains. Stay. Then we need to give her another treat now because she's being so good. Now we're going to take another huggy. And this huggy is going to be for Sadie's big fold above her nose. And if you don't clean out this fold, it can get full of different gunk and junk and it can get infected. So you want to clean that fold out real good. Look, it gets brown. It's gross because you're a dirty girl. And you can even see it when she drinks her water dish, how much just grossness comes off of these bulldogs. So, pull on my pants here. The last baby wipe, we need to, that's right. That's right. We needed to give her a treat. That's right. And so now the last baby wipe is for her chin. We're going to wipe that chin off real good. All the slobbers and drools that she has. And that does a pretty good job of cleaning any bacteria and nasty off of her face. Next, we grab the dry ear powder. The dry ear powder is uh, available at Pet Value and Global Pets. And uh, what it is, is it's a powder for the ears, but it's actually gonna be used for her main nose fold, right? And so we're just gonna take it and go right into that nose fold and rub it in and it helps dry all that moisture out so that she doesn't get any gross yeast infection. Yeah, because yeast is easy to build up in these guys, especially in those folds. So next, we've got her ear cleaner. Sadie's ears are pretty clean, so I'm not gonna do a whole lot here. We're gonna take one of these wet wipes put the ear cleaner on the wet wipe. She knows what's coming. She's laying down good for it. And we're going to clean that ear real good 
Oh, your ears are beautiful, girl. Good job. Flip over to the other side. If you have dirty ears, don't cross contaminate. But hers are as spotless as can be now. And they look so good. They smell so good. Alrighty. Now, we got to give her a treat so she stays still. Right? You need a treat, sit. Good girl. Okay. Then, we're going to put a little dry ear powder in the ears. Just put a little bit of powder in and massage that ear. Put a little bit of powder in, massage the ear. She says, you didn't even let me finish my treat. Good girl. Good girl. And if you think this is a once a month, once a week, twice a week kind of thing, it's not. It's a once in the morning, once at noon, and once at night kind of thing. The ear cleaning is a once a day. Um, but now what we're going to do is start rubbing off her gross fur. So Sadie has what's called alopecia. It's uh, due to just poor genetics and poor breeding. Um, not having health tests likely. But what we're going to do is get all that loose fur that falls because of the alopecia and get it to come off. Perfect. Bulldogs typically don't shed this much. And there we go. This is her favorite part. And we're going to start going in at her spots. So alopecia isn't contagious. What it is is an autoimmune disease. With less stress in her life, with better nutrition, and uh, with good healthy exercise, and once she loses some weight, this uh, hair loss is going to come in so much better. That being said, it's almost about, I'd say, 40% better than where it was when she got here. It's, uh, it's getting pretty good. Wipe off my hands. And what we're going to do now is the coconut oil. So we grab the raw virgin coconut oil. Coconut oil has antibacterial. She likes it as a treat as well, so we'll just give her a little taste of it. No problem. Good girl. So it has antibacterial, I know you hate this part. Antibacterial, antifungal, anti uh, inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties. Um, I don't know. How I didn't know about this stuff being so magical before. And yeah, I'm going right into the nose, into the nose fold, because even though this isn't dry, this isn't just water that's gonna collect. It's an antimicrobial, antibacterial, anti everything. And then we're gonna take all that coconut oil that's left and we put it right on her skin. She knows she's about done. Here, see. Whoa, wait. wait, get your treat. Sit. There we go in. But alopecia is just an autoimmune disease. It's just a, well, an autoimmune condition, not really a disease, I don't think. And uh, it's clearing up pretty good, but. This coconut oil really helps to soothe everything. It's also antifungal, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial. So any gross, crappy stuff in that skin gets taken out real good with this. Right, girl? Oh, your favorite part all over again. Yeah. And we just wipe off the dead skin, it's almost all gone. She's got still a couple patches of dead skin. And that's where her stinkiness came from when she was first surrendered. It was all of the dead skin on her, but now that it's all off, she just smells like a, well, like a coconut. Right, girl? OK. 
Okay, so now that we got all that, you wait, one more treat. One more treat. Now we have to hold her because she's gonna run here in a second. And with your bulldog, or your dog of any breed, when you're doing these kind of grooming things, you make it fun as possible, but also you do the most tolerable things first, and you work your way to the least tolerable things. Um, what she will tolerate the most, do that first. And what she's gonna tolerate the least, do that last. And uh, Sadie doesn't love her paws being touched, so, now, we're going to do her paw and nose lotion. And for the sake of this video, we're not going to be clipping her nails right now. Although, as you can see, they're much more beautiful than they once were. So we're gonna put some paw lotion on there. And just rub it in. Rub it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. More paw lotion. Can I please? One more paw lotion. Yeah. Right? Right on. Get those paws feeling real good. And the last thing, after we would do the last paw, the back paws, but she's been so good I'm not going to. You got some spritz. And this is just a antibacterial and scented spray that makes her smell beautiful and now she's all done here's Sadie girl come here how do you feel now you're gonna run away and hide oh no <laughs> and that is taking care of your bulldog all right thanks for watching